living a material life. Are you in a place in your life right now where you're starting to think to yourself, this is just not me. Cars, items, money, clothes, or everything that's material. Well, I'll share with you in this video my raw, honest story and how I broke free to support you in your deepest levels of fulfillment and happiness. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Simon Lovell, bringing you growth to support you on your journey. As always, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to make sure that you get regular updates to the videos that I'm sharing. So I can remember when I was young, having all the posters on the walls when I was a kid. And um, I remember saying to my friend Paul, when I worked for a publishing company, I used to work for video games magazines and I got that ideal job that I wanted. I remember sat there uh, opposite my friend as we were play playing the latest games. And I said, do you know what? I'm gonna be a millionaire. And he kind of laughed at me and I said, I'm going to be a millionaire by the time I'm 25. And I went along my path and I went through bullying and addictions and I made a bit of okay money working as a personal trainer. But there was a shift for me. And I sat down one day and I was just, you know, my life was just not where I wanted it to be. And I just used this statement in my head and I said to myself, I'm going to work as hard as I can for the next few years to have the life that most people won't. And I just started to invest in myself and I hired mentors and as soon as I started to make money, I started to buy things. One of the first things I bought was a Breitling watch. It was about $5,000 and I can remember, you know, getting that watch and being kind of so happy that I'd reached that goal. Another goal for me was I wanted to get a Porsche and I remember speaking to my mentor and he said, you know what, well, if you're going to get the Porsche, you probably want to pay off your debt first. And that was a kind of mindset, right? Like the, the thing, the car, before even dealing with debt. And so I created this vision board in 2013. Check out one of the other videos on, on that vision, vision board that I created. And on that vision board was a Ferrari. There was a home with the electric gates because I really wanted that. And my friend AJ took me to La Jolla in California and he showed me this you know, lifestyle. And I started to see the house and I started to see the car. And my business was growing and I was like, you know, I can start to do this. I moved to the States. I needed about, uh, just over six figures to move from the UK to the United States. And when I arrived in the States, uh, I got my first home living uh, on my own when I first moved there. And the rent was about, I jumped from 1,600 pounds a month in rent to about five and a half thousand dollars, I think it was, for this home in La Jolla. So my rent jumps went from three, 300 a month uh, in pounds living with a friend in the UK in a, in, a, in a room. Then my next jump was 1600 with my own place in Bath in the UK. And then my next jump was um, 5,500 for this three tier level home in La Jolla, um, uh, San Diego. And then the next jump from, from that was about eight and a half, I think $9,000 a month for this 1.5 acre property in Carmel Valley, California. And when my relationship broke down, I went from getting the Ferrari California, um, which I got when I first moved to the States. And then I got the next one up, which was the 458, the Ferrari 458. So this was a, uh, like a $100,000 car with the California to a $240,000 car with the Ferrari 458. And I was, I was driven, I was driven by material success. I was driven by extrinsic motivators, the car, the big home, the watch and all of that. And, and so what started to happen was I started to work on myself. I started to go to like, places like India and do healing and like really work on me and my own belief system and, and all of these things. And what started to happen was really interesting was that the watch started to get heavy. Right, so things just started to feel out of alignment. Why? Because when we work on ourselves and we have the right coaches and the right guides and the right mentors and the right people to guide us and we invest in the right things and we truly go deep within ourselves, we, things start to feel heavy. And that's what happened to me. And so for me, breaking free of my trauma and really healing, it started to bring me into my heart. And when we spend more time in our heart, our heart guides us to what is real versus everything that we've built up in our head that's a perceived success. And that perceived success can come from 
just the beliefs that we've had from when we were a kid, from what we see on social media, from what we're exposed to. We see this thing and then we create this vision that that is happiness, that is success. But we fast learn behind the scenes that that's not a reality. And I can remember being, you know, uh, uh, my home in Carmel Valley and, you know, just having a lot of people around me and they didn't care about the car. They didn't care about the big home. And I can remember driving the Ferrari down by the beach just so people would look at me. And when I look back now, I see the insecurity in myself. I see the, 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 the motivator behind it. And the truth is, there's nothing wrong with having a Ferrari, right? But it's about the intent. It wasn't because I wanted to drive it around a track, even though I had a track car. It was because it was a way for me to get validation, right? So what I started to notice was that my heart is calling to simplicity. My heart is calling to nature. My heart is calling to everything and, and, and the real friends that I have, they don't care about any of that. What do I want? And that is one of the most important questions that we can ask ourselves is what do I want? What does my heart want versus what does like my ego desire? And once we start to notice the difference between the two, then we can live a life that is guided. And I think, you know, despite letting everything go, because what happened was, was that I made some really difficult decisions. I decided to let go of this 1.5 acre property that I was renting. I decided to, to say, do you know what? I don't want the expensive watches. I gave the watches uh, you know, away. I just did a massive clear out and I decided to you know, lease out the car um, and just not ride it anymore because I was riding and driving that car and it just didn't feel like me anymore. And your body's gonna tell you your body is that indicator, right? So if you're watching this video, chances are you're just, may, you're, maybe you've made money. Maybe you're in a position where you've got the things that you want, but there's something that still isn't right. And that's exactly how I felt. And sometimes it need, needs a, a conversation, right? With someone to give us permission to, and the courage to make some difficult decisions. Sometimes we're afraid that we're gonna let people go, our friends, we, we, we wanna create a new life. But I just wanna let you know that even the fact that you're here is a sign. And I know that on the other side of a difficult decision is a completely different life that yes, initially can be very chaotic, but actually brings you into a place in your body that you've never felt before. Because I, as I stand here right now, in the consistency of how I feel, it's just a calmness. There's a calmness there. And the truth is, is that when you start to let things go that aren't actually, you know, aligned with you, you kill off the competition. I can remember it was like an instant snap, an instant change. The moment I decided to move out of the house and let go of the Ferrari, what happened was like my comparison to other people and I don't have this and I don't have that and they're there, it just obliterated, it was gone. And I know that we all go through our journey and right now you might be watching this video and it might resonate with you, but you might not do anything. Why? Because I did that too. I saw these types of videos and it, it kind of, it, it landed with me, but I didn't move into that action. But what I would say is reach out, you know, head to monspiritualmat.com, go to the, the call, you know, uh, with me, for example, or someone else and actually ride that wave of that knowing that you have so that you can be happier, more consistently and more fulfilled faster. Because all this is about is intrinsic versus extrinsic motivators, your values, understanding yourself and then going, do you know what? I am going to actually claim who I am. I'm going to actually live from my truest self. I'm not going to spend any more time living this life, which is false, which is a construct, which is not who I'm meant to be. You know, so I would love to find out where you are on your journey. Post into the comments below what part of this video has resonated with you. And hopefully this supports you on your journey. Now, I've got some other videos coming up that will support you in growing your self-awareness and happiness. And as always, hit that subscribe button and also uh, hit the bell to make sure you get updates. And I'll see you very soon. Bye bye. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If so, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell to make sure that you get the regular updates. Also, here's a couple of videos that may support you further in your journey. Also, head to modernspiritualman.com where you will find about my deep mission to support men all over the globe. 
Take it easy and I'll see you very soon.